In the third phase of CHIP, we will use a Novus antibody that is specific for our protein of interest to pull down DNA that is cross-linked to that protein. This is done by using magnetic beads conjugated to a protein A and or G that will bind to the antibody protein DNA complex. Start by diluting samples 1 to 10 by adding 40 microliters of sheared chromatin to 360 microliters of IP dilution buffer and include protease inhibitors. All buffers are detailed in written protocols found in the support section of the Novus website. It is beneficial to IP at least three samples. One will be for your antibody of interest, another will be for a positive control antibody, and a third for a negative control which will not contain any antibody and will be used to measure background levels. If you are using the Chromatochip kit, your kit includes a positive control antibody. Dilute one last sample and label this input. This sample will not go through the IP process and instead be saved for phase four of the protocol. Store this at four degrees Celsius until ready for use. Add your antibody of interest and positive control antibody to their respective diluted samples. Then incubate overnight at four degrees Celsius with rotation. The next day, for each sample to be IP'd, you will use 25 microliters of fully resuspended protein AG magnetic beads. First, wash the beads by adding one mil of IP dilution buffer to the amount of beads you will be using for all of your samples, and then Vortex. Then pellet the beads with a magnetic separator and resuspend the beads with the same volume of IP dilution buffer as your original volume of beads. Add 25 microliters of wash beads to each sample and incubate tubes with rotation for one hour at four degrees Celsius. Next, we can begin our wash steps. Wash steps can be performed manually through the use of a rotator and magnetic separation rack or automated with a machine designed for this use. Start by pelleting the beads and removing the supernatin. Then add 500 microliters of cold IP wash buffer 1 and wash for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius with rotation or agitation. Repeat this entire step for IP wash buffers 2, 3, and 4. Elute the complex from the beads by adding 200 microliters of IP elution buffer and washing for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius with rotation or agitation. Pellet the beads, keeping the supernatant and discarding the beads.